Hello, my name is Paul Henry, Security and Forensic Analyst with Lumension. Welcome to our Patch Tuesday update for January 2011. Well, it's a new year, we have new patches, but far too few. This first Patch Tuesday in 2011 addresses the following Microsoft issues. Bulletin 1 addresses issues that are critical on Windows XP, Service Pack 3, Vista, and Windows 7, and issues that are important on Windows Server 2003, Windows Server 2008, and Windows Server 2008 R2. Now, Bulletin 2 addresses issues that are important on Windows Vista. This Patch Tuesday does have the potential to be disruptive, as the bulletins may require a restart. And once these issues are resolved, that doesn't mean we're in the clear, not quite yet. Unfortunately, we still have multiple Microsoft Day Zero issues that have not been addressed by today's release. Most importantly, these would include CVE 2010-3971. This is Internet Explorer's version 6, 7, and 8's vulnerability in recursive style sheet importing. We also have CVE 2010-3970. This is the Windows graphics rendering engine vulnerability in parsing BMP thumbnails embedded within an OLESS document container. Now, all in all, today's Light Patch Tuesday load is really nothing to get excited about. It remains to be seen whether or not Microsoft is going to provide out-of-band patches for the Day Zero issues that are poised to wreak havoc in enterprise environments, or if we're going to have to simply play hurry up and wait until Patch Tuesday in February. You know, further, Microsoft faces additional pressure right now, as it's expected that additional issues will be discovered in Internet Explorer, as well as other browsers, including Chrome, Opera, Firefox, and uh, Safari, since the release of Michael Zowski's CrossFuzz browser fuzzing tool. Now, those issues, as they are discovered, will need to be addressed quickly. In light of the multiple Day Zero issues we face, even after deploying the latest patches, it's important to consider complementing your patching processes with whitelisting to prevent unauthorized and untrusted executables from operating within your environment. This enables you to maintain an acceptable level of risk mitigation in today's environment. Now, other notable patch news includes the recent release of Apple's OS 10.6.6, which was pushed out with the Mac App Store and fixes a man-in-the-middle vulnerability. That would be CVE 2010-4013. Well, this has been our Patch Tuesday update for January 2011. Thank you for listening.